Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. My name is Ruby, I live here in New York City, and this is my lifestyle channel. I guess my puppy Dakota wants to make a little surprise appearance. Hi love bug! Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, you guys. We are getting so, so close to 6,000. It is truly crazy. I post new videos three times a week, so there's always new content to binge. And I also post daily on TikTok, so be sure to follow me there as well. Should I just keep talking while Dakota is here? Like, is this how I should just film the video? Maybe. Maybe I would get more subscribers because she's so cute. I am dressed super chill and super cozy today because it is actually freezing outside here in New York City, which is what actually gave me the idea to film today's video. Living in New York City, you are definitely in the cold weather for a large chunk of the year, and so it is super important to invest in a really great winter coat when living here. And you guys know how absolutely obsessed I am with my Aritzia Super Puffs, and they've kind of like taken over the internet. I feel like they are really huge last year, and then this year, like the boom just got even bigger and I don't just have one super puff I have two I have two completely different styles two completely different color finishes and so for today's video I thought I would kind of break down both of my super puffs do a little review do a little comparison and talk to you guys about whether or not I think that they're actually worth it spoiler alert I think that they're totally worth it but in today's video I really wanted to break down why I feel like I've seen a lot of like try-ons when it comes to the super puffs here on YouTube but I haven't seen a lot of like comparison videos and reviews and so I thought that this could potentially be a really helpful piece of content for you guys. I have specifically both the shorty and the mid super puff, so that's what I'm going to be talking about today, but they also have tons of other different like lengths and everything like that. But without further ado, let's just jump into today's video. I'm going to be breaking them down, comparing them, talking about just like the super puffs in general, and also trying both of mine on. Okay, so first, let's just talk about why I love the Aritzia super puffs in general, because to me, they really are just some of like the best overall winter coats and like investment clothing items that you can invest in. The first point that I really wanted to hit is the fact that while they are expensive, they are definitely not the most expensive like luxury winter coat that you're gonna find on the market. I think Aritzia did a really great job with pricing them pretty fairly considering like when you look at like a ton of the other major winter coat brands, the prices are just like astronomically higher. You look at a brand like Canada Goose or Montclair and their prices are like over a thousand dollars more expensive than an Aritzia Super Puff. So compared to other brands, I just think you get like a better bang for your buck. The Super Puffs are incredibly warm, but what I I love about them is the fact that they're not heavy. When they're on, they obviously look super puffy, super heavy duty, which they are but you're not like sacrificing comfort, if that makes sense. They're super lightweight for what they are. I find them very comfortable to wear all day and I feel like any other time I've let like a friend or family member try on my Super Puffs, I was like, wow, these are so light. So Aritzia now has the original Super Puffs, but also the Super Puff like 2.0, which is like their newest version that is meant to be like completely wind resistant and completely waterproof. However, I have the original Super Puff in both of the lengths and styles that I have and I found them to be incredibly wind resistant and like basically waterproof. I've worn them through rain, through snow, and while they get wet, it doesn't soak through to your clothes, it dries super easily, it's very low maintenance to take care of and kind of like low fuss. And then the final reason that I just really adore the Super Puffs in general is they have so many different colorways and like fabric finishes that I feel like there really is something for everybody and it can make the coat look so unique to you. They have matte finishes, they have a super glossy finish, they have one that almost looks like a corduroy finish. The color selection in my opinion is just completely unmatched to like anything that I've seen in other brands do. So those are kind of the reasons why I love just the Super Puffs in general and why for me they kind of do like reign supreme in my opinion. I just feel like especially for the New York cold weather months they are just perfect. Okay so next I want to talk about price comparison because while I do have two totally different styles I feel like the price point doesn't change that much depending on which one you're going to take home. So the Super Puff Shorty is $275 and the mid length is $300. They also have a super long length as well which I believe is closer to like $300. 375 but basically like I said you're kind of living in that same price family so no matter what length and what style you go with you're gonna end up spending around I would say with like tax just like somewhere like close to 350 which again is definitely an investment do not get me wrong but I feel like a you're investing in something that's gonna last you forever and that is truly such good quality but also in comparison to what else is on the market it's not as much also you guys if my voice sounds weird as I'm talking because I can hear it I don't know if you guys can I am having like a crazy allergy day today and I feel like my voice is going in and out, but just like bear with me. Okay, so now let's get into the try-ons and kind of what I love about each one and comparing the two so you can really not only see them on the body, but hear from me and like what I think kind of makes them each so unique. For me personally, when it comes to the styles and the lengths that are available in the Super Puff, I think that either the shorty 
or the mid is the one you should start off with and those are the two lengths that I have. I feel like in terms of versatility they just offer the most and they also help to like elevate your winter style. So first let's start with the shorty. Um, so the first thing that I love about this is it is so much more stylish than like your typical winter coat, winter puffer coat. I feel like this can really help just elevate a look. It looks edgy or it looks different. I feel like prior to Aritzia doing this, not a lot of brands were doing like a shorter winter coat that was still functional. That's the big thing. And that's actually what I wanted to talk about next. While it is definitely a cropped, winter coat, you're not sacrificing like function. And what I mean by that is yes, it's cropped, but it's not so cropped to the point that it really doesn't function as a coat. Like you still get coverage, you still get protection from like the cold, the wind, the rain, etc. But it's still like a reasonable length. So if you're wearing it with a pair of high-waisted pants, there isn't gonna be like any skin showing in between. Now this is something that I absolutely love about my Super Puff Shorty, and granted this like finish also comes in a couple other lengths, but I just have it in the shorty. The liquid shine, like, like finish that I have is basically completely waterproof. Now I know I touched on the fact that in my opinion I think that the original Super Puffs are basically waterproof as well but there's something about the liquid shine finish that's just even more perfect for those rainy days, for the days that it's snowing. I feel like like the liquid just kind of like glides right off of the coat. All in all I really love my Shorty Super Puff. I feel like like I said it just kind of like elevates the look. I feel more put together with it. I feel like edgier this is a super puff that I first started with at the time I already had like a full length winter coat that I had that was working for me that I was happy with and so I thought why not start with something different why not start with a different length a very unique length for a winter coat that not a lot of other brands offer this year however because I was in love with my shorty so much I decided to add to my super puff collection and invest in one of the full length coats so I actually got rid of the other full length winter coat that I had just because I wasn't like thrilled with it in comparison to the quality of the super puff and that's when I added the mid length into my collection this year. So let's talk about why I love this one because while it is different style wise from the shorty I still am just completely obsessed with this. I love the mid length for the days that it is especially freezing outside or really really windy because obviously like the longer the coat it's gonna help like block the wind from your body and it's gonna provide just some extra protection and extra warmth. However the reason that I really like the style of the midi in comparison to like the full length super puff is I feel like it still gives you shape and structure versus like a full length almost like to the floor winter coat just kind of makes you look a little bit like I don't know more square less shapely a little less structured for me that's just not the look that I love I actually used to really love a longer winter coat but in recent years I just feel like my style has changed and evolved and I just want something that's still gonna give me a little bit of like shape which I know in a puffer coat in a winter coat it's hard to do but you know what the super puff makes it easy you guys <laughs> also something that I love again though this is like for both the coats so again, I think this is kind of going back to more of like a general why I love the super puff like bullet point. The thumb holes that are in the coat, I'm obsessed with them. I am somebody who doesn't particularly enjoy wearing gloves, even if they're the ones that like you can type on your phone with. I just feel like they're so inconvenient. But like obviously your hands get cold and like the little thumb holes, even though they obviously don't cover your fingers, they just cover like the palm of your hand. I feel like they still provide like that little bit of extra warmth. As far as color finish, when I bought the mid, I knew that I still wanted to get a black just because I feel like it's the most versatile to really sleek. I don't typically for me personally like to go with like a crazy color for my winter coat, especially when I'm purchasing like an essential. Now that I have two black super puffs, maybe next year I'll add in a crazy color. But at first I just wanted to stick with like a very neutral, something I could wear all the time. But I didn't want to get the liquid shine again because obviously I have that in the shorty. So I decided to just go with the classic matte black. Again, I feel like it's so sleek. I love that this one in comparison to the shorty has like no shine. I feel like it just gives like such a different vibe. I have been wearing this one a ton especially in like the recent couple of weeks it has been so windy here in New York I feel like the wind has almost knocked me over a couple of days so very happy that I purchased one of the longer lengths for the super puff because it's definitely helped me so you've seen the two you've heard the reasons why I love them it's very clear that I love the super puffs no this video is not sponsored boy I wish it was so now you're probably asking okay Ruby we know that the answer to the question like is it worth it like it is worth it but which one is your favorite slash which one should I start off with to be completely honest as far as style I cannot pick a favorite. I feel like I wear both of them just as frequently. I think it just really comes down to what's necessary for you and your wardrobe. I would say if you already have a solid longer length winter coat that you love and you don't feel the need to replace, definitely like start with the shorty. I feel like it gives you versatility. It's something different. It's cool. It's funky. However, if you don't have that standard longer length winter coat in your closet yet, 
start with the mid. And if the mid isn't for you, if you want to do like a full length, go with like the super full length super puff. And if you want to meet somewhere in the middle, they also have like their original length. It's just kind of like your standard like winter coat that goes a little bit past your hips. Between the different lengths, the colorway, the finishes, I feel like there truly is just something for everybody when it comes to the super puffs. However, in my opinion, as far as what's going to give you the most versatility and also still help elevate your style, even while wearing a winter coat, I feel like for either like the shorty or the mid, you really can't go wrong. I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I hope that it was like to the point and informational, which is what I really wanted to make this video about. I know that a lot of people bought super puffs towards the beginning of winter. However, especially here in New York City, like January through March is like the brutal part of winter. So I know quite a few people who have been considering investing in super puffs now. And so I really just wanted to kind of like throw my two cents in there, make a video. Like I said, I just hope it was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Like I said, we're trying to reach 6 K. That is the next goal here for this channel. You can also follow me on all of my other social media networks, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Clubhouse. Check out my Amazon shop. I love you guys so much. I hope that you all are staying safe, happy, and healthy. And I will talk to you guys again very, very soon for my next video. Okay. Bye everybody.